Hello and welcome to the third HTML video tutorial here at beginnertouch.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to insert headings, text, pictures and links in HTML. So I'm just going to get started and jump into my body tag. As you might recall from the previous video, all content that needs to be visual on a website needs to be placed within the body tags. Therefore I'm going to be putting my headings, text, pictures and links within these two tags. First off I'm going to be making a heading. I'll start out by making a heading 1. So that is h1, that's the tag for a heading. And I'm going to close it. Then we have a opening tag and a closing tag. h1 is of course short for heading 1. So within these tags I'm going to be writing this is a heading 1. If you then want a subheading, um, a heading beneath a heading 1, you can just use the tag h2 which is heading 2 and then I can write this is a heading 2. Let's say that you're writing an article then you will probably like a main text area after your headings. The tag for main text is called p short for paragraph. So I'm just gonna make a paragraph tag. Within this paragraph tag I can place all my main text. So I could then write this is the main text. Let's try viewing this in the browser. So I'm gonna just press view and here we go. We have a heading 1 which is the biggest heading. We have a heading 2 which is slightly smaller and then we have the main text which has a font size that is pretty straightforward. As you can see there hasn't been done much styling to these headings or the paragraph or main text. To do this you will need to use CSS or cascading style sheets but I'll be showing that in the CSS video tutorials. Let's jump back into our HTML document. So beneath this main text I want to insert a picture. As you can see I have made a folder Inside that folder I have made this HTML document which is currently open. In the same folder I have placed a picture of a dog. So if I then go into my body tag below my main text and then I type in IMG which is of course short for image. Next I need to add a couple of attributes. The first attribute that I need to add is the source attribute which will tell the browser where the picture is located. So I'm just gonna type SRC and because the image of the dog is located in the same folder as our HTML document we will just need to write dog.jpg. If the image of the dog was located in another folder I will have to write the whole path the next attribute that I need to add is called the alt tag. The alt tag tells the browser what is on the picture. So I'm just going to type a nice dog. The final thing I need to do is to close this tag like this. Let's view this in the browser. As you can see our picture of the dog has now been added in our HTML document and it is also shown here in the browser. Let's go back to the HTML document. So now I want to make a link to another site. To do that I will need to make another page. So I will go up here, type new HTML file and I'm just going to type finish. In this new HTML file I will just go down in the body section and type in a paragraph this is a new page this will be displayed when we have clicked the link let's go back to our other HTML document so beneath our image we want to make the link so I'm just gonna type a and then we add an attribute called href. Again we need to specify where to find this new um, HTML uh, document. 
So, since it's located in the same folder as this document, it will just be new HTML dot HTML. Then I will close this opening tag and make a closing tag. And then in between the opening tag and the closing tag, we will need to specify the text that is to be our link. I will just call this link, this is a link. Let's view it in the browser. So as you can see, we have now created a link. By pressing this link, we should be directed to our other page. So I'll try pressing it. And as you can see, we have now been directed to the new page. So our link is fully functional. This was pretty much what I wanted to show you in this video. In the next video, I will also be showing you some basic HTML tags, um, which you will need to know in order to make your own website using HTML. If you have any questions or just want the codes that has been created in this video, then please visit our website at beginnertouch.com. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.